I have been through a lot of turmoil in the last couple months in particular. We don't care. Okay. <laughs> well, so. we care in the sense that turmoil is a wonderful thing. Contrast that really lets you know what you don't want causes a clarification of what you do want. And as that clarification keeps coming and getting clearer, but you can't maintain your alignment with it. And it's normal that you wouldn't be able to, two things happen. You keep moving into higher flying spaces. In other words, your inner being who you really are moves into those higher flying places, but you usually don't move along with it. So the gap between who you're allowing yourself to be and who you really are gets wider and wider and you feel worse and worse. That's why you would use a word like turmoil. Now we've cut you off fairly early here <laughs> because we just want to ask the question, okay. do you want that momentum to continue? No. So as you use the word turmoil on this emotional scale where clarity and love and appreciation and passion and joy and happy and fun are up there in that high flying place and despair and fear are in the lowest of places and some of everything in between what emotional description would you use to describe the disc that it feels like you've been on for a while despair fair enough so do you understand what we meant about momentum mm -hmm. so does it hurt your feelings we don't want it to when we say to you every bit of conversation we have about whatever's going on that has produced that feeling of despair is just going to keep that momentum going make that point of attraction stronger and nothing can change isn't that interesting it's like first of all it sucks because you want to talk about it because it feels like in order to get to a solution maybe it's worth talking about the problem but it isn't then next we would say can you talk about the solution that you're looking for or is it too big of a jump it usually is I think I can I I understand what made you want to talk with us about it not realizing that we were going to interrupt you so constantly that you couldn't get a word in but forgetting about that what made you think that it might be a good idea to talk to infant and intelligence who is on this high flying disc what made you want to have that conversation because I've studied your teachings and I I understand that when I am feeling good I usually get everything I want I am a Kate and you usually do get everything you yeah. want so are you expecting in this conversation that we are so high flying and we are so solid in that vibration that we can talk to you and maintain that vibrational frequency and therefore uplift you to it it's our understanding it doesn't always work in fact it doesn't usually work but it is our understanding depends on where you are and how flexible you are in the movement and how willing you are to never speak of those despairing things again because mm. if you speak of the despairing things you practice the vibration of it and tomorrow morning you get up and that's the disc you choose and then that's what the universe yields to you and then you get up the next morning and that's the disc you choose and that's what the universe yields to you until you proclaim as all humans do this is reality this is just the way that it is because most people observe reality and let reality set their vibrational tone and we are suggesting you get to set your vibrational tone and reality will adjust to your vibrational tone but you just can't do it all at once it takes a few days of determination that you're going to feel good Mm -hmm. Esther must have written fun 5,000 times fun and tried to focus on what it meant and there was more than once that she focused on it and didn't find it wanted to just scribble it out wanted to let someone know that just writing the stupid word fun wasn't necessarily fun <laughs> but an intention for fun eventually will bring it an intention for clarity will eventually bring it 
<sighs> so let's move forward. We'll talk about a lot of other things. You'll listen, you'll be distracted, your vibration will raise and you'll get the sense of exactly what we're talking about. Can I just ask one question? Uh -uh. No. <laughs> That was sort of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, but prepare yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you're having trouble then making a choice in your life, then you're making it too soon. Mm. If you're having trouble making it, you're making it too soon. Here's something really worth thinking about you're all gonna like this so do you get the sense of your point of attraction and you get the sense of however you're feeling is the momentum you've got going and that's what law of attraction is yielding to you you're just gathering it up so when you've got this momentum going and it's not something that is wanted there's just not enough action in the world to compensate for the vibration for the energy for the momentum that you have going you just can't offer enough action to compensate for it so it's all about the vibration so these vibrational discs just for sake of clarity imagine one a disc of clarity a disc of joy and fun Esther's been trying to think what's on that high-flying disc and it feels like clarity it feels like satisfaction it feels like love and appreciation it feels like joy and then there's the one of frustration that's obvious it feels like frustration it feels like overwhelmment it feels like not enough time it feels like too much to do it feels like not enough cooperative components it feels like those things and of course there is a grid disc a spinning grid disc that equals just about every emotion that you could find and even emotions that we can't even find words to define specifically so here are these spinning grid discs and from that momentum you feel inspiration inspiration doesn't just come from the high-flying disc in other words you might feel inspired to punch someone in the nose but it didn't come from that high flying disc. It came from a disc of revenge or anger or something else. So when you're having a hard time making a decision about something, it's because you've got competing momentums going. And usually it's because the inspiration to act doesn't match who you really are and what you really want. So we're really encouraging that you just sort of lay low be sort of non-decisive for a while in other words we really don't want you to follow through with inspired action unless you're on that high-flying disc because every action that you're inspired to unless you are on that high-flying disc Esther was inspired to action she pushed that button she pushed all those buttons herself she pushed the button that opened the car she did all of the action that moved things around and she pushed the button that opened the garage door that ripped the thing right off the car in other words you are all pushing your own buttons nobody else is pushing your buttons you say so if you feel confused or controverted or you can't make a decision it simply means you don't have enough momentum going but it's a bigger statement than that because we don't want it to be momentum that's going that gives you the impulse to act if it's not in your highest good and that's why we're going to be clamoring all day today about the benefit of reaching for that highest disc and by the end of this day you'll feel the resonance of it that is our expectation yes good when you give your attention to something your attention to it causes a vibrational movement within you and if you focus for as little as 17 seconds there is enough momentum in that vibration that another thought like it is drawn to it do that for another 17 seconds and then another until you cross the 68 second mark and you have enough momentum going that now it's possible for evidence to reveal itself to you or better said for you to realize the evidence that is being revealed because it's always being revealed it's being revealed vibrationally the question is are you sensitive enough to realize the revelation of this you see 
So, so many humans are running around wanting things. The universe is delivering them or delivering a very clear path of least resistance to them. But because they're hung up on seeing the full blown version of them and they are not sensitive enough to emotion and therefore to vibration to recognize that it is unfolding and that the momentum is underway. Then they get freaky about the absence of it and they start a whole different kind of momentum going. So we're going to be talking today about vibration. You'll get so you like it. We'll be talking about momentum of vibration. We're going to talk about law of attraction because everything is about those things. And when you begin to deliberately view life through this vibrational lens, which means feel life through this emotional lens, what's going to be happening is, first of all, you're going to be feeling way, 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 way better because you'll learn to tune yourself to the higher frequencies that do feel good. And next, all kinds of things that have seemed like they were sort of stalled out will begin to flow easily, effortlessly into your experience because you will have discontinued the kind of momentum that prevents what you want from coming. Does that make some sense to you? We love the concept of momentum. Imagine that you're at the top of the hill. Esther always comes to the image of San Francisco because she was shocked the first time she was there at what she was expected to drive on. Those streets are ridiculous. So imagine yourself at the top of one of those hills in San Francisco and your car is out of gear and you don't have the parking brake on and you are outside the car standing next to it looking down and just for fun you bump your car a little bit from behind and you begin to notice that it begins to move downward but it's not moving very fast and so before things get away from you you just step right out in front of the car and you let it bump up against you and all is well but can you imagine if you were at the bottom of the hill with the intention of stopping the momentum of that car it would carry you away into unwanted things so momentum is an easy thing to understand when you think of your physical physics but we want you to begin contemplating it in terms of vibration in terms of law of attraction because law of attraction is the mechanism of momentum when you give your attention to a thought that thought vibrates and momentum begins and more thoughts like it will join it and if you get enough momentum going then it begins manifesting in ways that is obvious to others who are observing and maybe even more obvious to you so as we've been talking to you through the years about deliberate creation and we're wanting you to understand that you are the creator of your own experience we want you to understand that the reason that you are the creator of your own experience is because you are the offerer of the vibration and therefore the creator or the allower of the momentum law of attraction is this very fair based law that does not distinguish between whether you want that thing that you've got momentum going about or not law of attraction just says you like this here's more you don't like this here's more you're giving your attention to it so here's more so deliberate creation really is about gaining deliberate control over what you're offering vibrationally but before you can gain control over what you're offering vibrationally you have to know how to measure it you have to know what the momentum is you have to understand that what you are feeling is more of what you're getting Jerry used to say and Esther loved it when he said it because it was a different way of saying something that she had heard a long time he used to say when you plant a seed of corn you don't get a tulip <laughs> and Esther thought about that she concurred when you plant a seed of anything the plant that comes is a vibrational match to the seed that you've planted so we want to submit to you that when you wake up in the morning and you recall something unwanted from yesterday you have planted a seed of something unwanted that has the potential the very real potential of manifesting in this day